Now we're here with one of the most feared creatures out in the bush and there's no need to fear them. This is an absolutely giant female golden orb spider in her massive nest or web. Now you can see all the carcasses of the different creatures that she's caught and eaten. I'm going to be very careful not to sit off. Look at that. You can see there. Those are all the carcasses of what she's finished eating. And there's a very big reason she keeps them and puts them in the center of her web like that. And that's to try and ensure that birds don't fly through her web. It takes a huge amount of energy and protein to create this web. But the most fascinating thing about a big orb spider like this is web is its, its whole own ecosystem. Now, there are at least about 15 or 16 spiders currently living in this web. And there's a couple of males, there's about eight or nine males, you can see there's a little male right there. Now, you'll see how the males move around. They move very, very gingerly. They don't want to cause too much vibration, otherwise she's going to eat them. And when it comes to mating, she's got to tick, they've got to tickle her belly ever so slightly, sort of placate her before mating with her, otherwise they become dinner. Now, one of my favorite creatures that also calls the golden orb spider's web home is something called a dew drop spider or a mercury spider and there's quite a few of them around as well. I'm just trying to find one that's in a, a reasonably nice spot. There we go. Now there's a little dew drop spider here and we can't really see but the underside of it actually looks like mercury. So that bright, bright silver, I'll try to find a better one. It's in a bit of a better spot for us to see, but there's quite a few of them as well. And they are kleptoparasites. So they live on the edge of the web, and as soon as she's finished eating, she leaves little bits of food that she's too big to digest. And these little spiders will come feed off that. Now, one of the other most fascinating things about spider webs you can see this really complicated intricate golden web here now that is incredibly sticky if i had to touch that with my hand and my finger would get stuck to it and i'd actually cause it a hole but if we come across to the anchoring web lines like these big thick ones here and that's what's holding this web in place they are not sticky at all see i can touch it and grab it and absolutely no problem i'm not going to break it um, but I'm not going to, also it's not going to stick to my finger, I'm not going to pull it off. Now, what I will do, he has a broken piece where uh, uh, something's flown through. If I just put my finger on that, you can see how sticky it is. It comes with my finger. Now, if I had to put my finger, there, let's try that little one there. Oh, it's so sticky, I can feel it actually gripping my fingers. Now, of course, I don't want to put too much of my hand on there because it'll damage her web, but she is beautiful. This is the biggest I've seen this rainy season, and it could possibly be because we're having such late rains. Now, that was amazing. Uh, I'm definitely going to come back and visit this spider's web to see how she gets on over the next few days. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we're going to be bringing you lots of ho-hos, nunus, and doo-doos before the end of the rainy season. Thank you.